guys, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we went through the rest of the ancient turn and got the, uh, got the key, and then, uh, we finished up everything, and now we're up here right before the boss door, if you need to replenish health or anything like that. Otherwise, let's see what the boss of the ancient sins turn is, and who is guarding the sacred flame. This boss, in my opinion, is really fun. So, this is gonna be a really fun boss. It looks. <laughs> oh, here he is again. Hey, Gearham. You certainly are persistent. My, I'm terribly busy trying to find a clue that will help me revive the Demon King. You insistent buzzing around my head with like some irksome gadfly when I'm this busy is, well, it's making me very disagreeable. Okay. So, yep. He gets this ancient machina machine that is uh, right here in the middle. And this is the boss, guys. Yes. This is uh, ancient automaton Kalactos. This battle I have to be very patient with. As you can see right now, he's protecting his weak spot. And uh, what you gotta do is just be patient right now until he uh, until he uh, until he uh, lowers his arms, some of his arms. So basically, you gotta be very patient. And once he lowers his arms, like that, quickly use the weapon to pull and pull his arm completely to slap off. And this battle's all about patience. So, now you just gotta wait for the other arm, and once he does that, Basically, right, basically, what we need to do right now is just dodge. And, uh... Wait till he does his other arm. Does like that. And once he does, rip the other one off. And now that he, uh... He's gonna be forced to, uh... Eventually... He's going to be forced to eventually remove the arms from his weak point right there. Well, I got a parry. That's really all I needed. I, I, I got a parry. And once he, uh, Move that though. And then he'll just and now he now he just continue this phase until he do enough damage to him. You can rip off the other two arms. Probably makes it a little bit easier. Maybe. Alright. That's phase one. Once you rip off his two arms, then you just kind of, uh... Then you just kind of get close to him. All right, he does get his arms back. Now you've got to repeat the process again. Just make sure you, uh... Oh, oh, I missed. I, I didn't have the whip with whip. And we get the process. And then, and then basically, 
after that, just get close to him and go. Actually, inadvertently ripped off another one of his arms, so. There's only so much you can do now that he only has one arm protecting his weak spot. And here he goes one more time. Now you gotta do it one more time. But this time you have to make sure you rip off the wall. Oh, never mind, this is actually going to the next phase. It's gonna start moving around now. And have Six Swords of Doom! <laughs> Alright, so now this phase, he's got six swords of doom. And then once the, uh, you have to just, you can't evade it, it's a little hard, but. And then now once, and then once you do that, you'll be able to, um, pick up and just go straight to him and go for the leg. That. And just continue hitting him with this big ass sword of his. Then he just repeats the process again. Right, luckily, I got a fairy, so. Now you're going to start casting uh, Bulbicans. This is actually his third phase. You're going to start casting Bulbicans at you. You can't get rid of them, but it's more of a nuisance. Once you see him raise his arms, get through that and go. God bless. Can't believe I missed that. But once he raises his arms, just move back as much as you can. And then. And once he does that, repeat the process one more time. Right, so luckily, I have a fairy. to pick to use a sword too. You can't just use the uh, regular sword. Alright. Fairy, save me! Time. Got a lot of HP to him, so you gotta really be on your toes. Alright, be on your toes. And once he does that, he's going to. And repeat the process one last time. This yeah. should be it, actually. Yeah. It's gonna be close. Yeah. More legs. And go. Yeah. There we go. 
Got him. Now this battle, that battle takes a lot of patience. But that takes care of him. Kalakdos is an interesting fun boss. I freaking love Kalakdos. It's a fun boss to be with. Alright, so that takes care of that. And here comes another nice, pretty heart container. And we should be able to douse our sword into sacred flames to hopefully purify our sword and possibly get a stronger sword. So let's see how this goes. Give me my heart container. All right. And now that we got that, all I do is just enter this door. And let's see what we need to do about purifying our sword. Now that we got the first flame out of the way. Oh, but now we thought we found the first flame. There's, make sure there's nothing in here, like a hidden uh, goddess cube or something which you're in, so. And Chat chat! Well, oh, two of our dogs came up missing yesterday, but one of them actually just came back. The other one's still out there somewhere, but she'll be back, I hope so at least. And now that we uh, purified that, I mean, hit that, it purifies that, and boom, we now have a new sacred flame. Remember, we're supposed to douse our sword in the sacred flame. <laughs> Hello, Fee. What do you have to say now? <laughs> what are you doing, Fee? Oh, she. Is she going to be the one that douses the, the sword? Alright. Raise your sword, Master. All right, so we get uh, we got Pohore's, uh flame. What's this going to do to the sword? Ooh, it's changing. The flames of Pohore have improved the sword, making it longer and sharp enough to do twice as much damage. It goes from the uh, regular goddess sword to the goddess's long sword. Yep, so now we got the long, Goddess of Longsword. It's, it's a little bit longer and it does twice damage. So there we go. That is awesome. Uh, what is this? A link? Uh, what is that? <laughs> oh, we all know what that is, but Link's like, well, I don't know. The Sacred Flame has purified your blade, enhancing and involving it. He's still wondering about that uh, mark on his hand. With your sword now enhanced, you're ready to learn a new melody. We should turn to the Alice songs. No! I don't want to return to the Alice songs! No! 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 But we're going to end up. Uh... Alright. I don't want to return to the Alice song. But we now got the goddesses Lake Floria. Hey, Water Dragon! Ah, the sword you carry is different since I last saw it. Yes, I see it's much improved. To think, the goddess of Chosen Hero is a, mer a mere boy. Quite a twist! <laughs> chosen Hero or not, you do not yet possess the strength required to wield the full power of that blade. You must train yourself further. Devote yourself wholly to this task. Oh. Farewell, boy! Oh, we already know that. We got to get three sacred flames. We know about that already. Alright guys, so we're going to end it here, when we come back, we're going to do a little bit of exploring, go do some upgrades, probably take care of a couple, another part of, um, of a uh, gratitude crystal quest and do a couple little things before we head it off to the next area, to find the next sacred flame. So, one flame down, two to go. Have a good day, I'll see y'all next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. This is DKS3, the Crazy Gamer, signing out.